Howdy folks, welcome back to Vintage Story. You'll never guess who just had to chase his boat out into the ocean again. Yeah, that's right, me. <laughs> I was trying to do a little test actually up by my house and it took off. And I had to swim all the way down here out into the ocean and find it again. Luckily it did stop out there. Uh, I was trying to get to the chalk real quick. Once again, the sun's going down and I'm trying to get back where the chalk is because I wanted to just run down and get some chalk and I've got some rabbits hanging up at the house I need to get butchered. So it's just turned into a big thing. So uh, we'll make a video out of it. Uh, there was a bunch of wolves and I didn't see Mr. Bear but I would, I would imagine he's there and we lost our wind. So we're pretty much dead in the water. Now the danger here is I, I can't put the sail down without hopping out of the boat. So that's a bit of a problem. I'm trying to sail right up along here and not get caught in the strong current. Get back over here to the chalk. Uh, I did bring food this time and I've got, I've even got a bed in case I need to spend the night down here and I brought a light source. You can see I've got my oil lamp. So a little more prepared this time at least. Yeah, trying to trying to pick up some speed here. We're gonna have to kind of tack a little bit up through here. We and I want to just put the sail down. So let me try that. All right, hopped out of the boat and then back in the boat. Now the sail's down. Uh, now I can paddle it just like a raft. So that's a little tricky. I don't think it's supposed to pop you out of the boat when you put the sail down, but it does. So something to be aware of. Even saw some comments about that on the mod page. There's a wolfie in the water. Oh, there's that strong current and I can't paddle against the current. Okay. Good to know. Oh boy. Nope. Get back in the calm water. Back in the calm water. Before I get eaten by a bear. <laughs> no. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to hop out and grab the raft. Make it over on here. Okay, grab the raft and then we're going to swim over here and hope there's no bear. Nope, I got to... Oh, shoot. I went too far. I got to stay in that calm part of the river. I may have to tweak the mod. The river just seems like really fast. I don't know if it's supposed to be that fast or what's going on with the fastness of the river, but it is it is quite fast. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But I think at this point, I'm probably going to just run home. But what I, I kind of wanted to make like a stop down here so I don't careen out of control again. I'm going to try to make like a barrier island here or something maybe. It's pretty deep. Maybe I could at least aim for that and hang on for dear life. Yeah, that'll give me a little something to catch on to. Although there is, oh, shoot. there is moss. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to run home. Well, maybe I'm down here. I should go get some chalk. Let's go get some chalk. We'll jump in and swim across. And everything will be lovely. And there's the wolves howling. Nice. Got a bunny rabbit. Oh, that's a wolfie there. Hi, Mr. Wolfie. How's it going? Nothing to see here. I've got a red X there you can see on the map. I was kind of wanting to make a landing here. Uh, but there are definitely wolves around. 
need to get some of this moss off. That would help a bit. Slick moss. All right, let me see if I can get over here in my little hidey hole and make it into a hidey hole again. There's my hidey hole. I don't think anything can drop down from above. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, so let's get the boat out of here. I wasn't planning on staying down here, but since I'm here, uh, let's go and put a bed. And then, like I said, I've got some food. So let's get some food real quick, and then I'm just going to mine up some chalk. There we go. Good and good. Throw you back in the inventory. And it's starting to get dark. I kind of want to keep this low. I don't want it to collapse on me. Put a lamp out. And this is going to be my night. I'm just going to some mine some chalk. Brought my bone pickaxe so I wouldn't be burning up my good one. So I'm going to do that. And then in the morning, I'm going to run back up to my house. And I got a whole bunch of rabbits. I went over to my traps. I think I checked those the last episode. Uh, every trap had a rabbit in it. And then I shot like or four more so i've got a whole bunch of rabbits unfortunately the rabbits have to hang on their skinning hook for two hours if you're using the uh the butchering mod so i thought i'd run out here and get some chalk real quick and then yeah turned into a grand adventure so i have three rabbits hanging and a bunch in the cellar and then the end site so i'm gonna mine this up and i'll see you in the morning all right, it is morning. I heard some friends outside. I'm hoping they're going away. I'm mined up. I'm getting my fourth stack of chalk here. I slept through a lot of the night. I can. I keep hearing dirt falling somewhere. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I've been careful mining here to check the instability. Uh, so far, so good. Don't know how wide you can get before you have to worry about roof collapse. Oh, that's probably not good. Instability 100%. Thinking that's probably not a good thing. What if I do a. I do that? Does that help any? Let's all say 50. Does they already say 50%? Well, hopefully this doesn't fall on my head and kill me. I guess we'll uh, learn as we go. So I can't sail back, unfortunately. I'm just going to have to run back. Sailboat's not fast. Anywhere near fast enough to uh, offset the current. Yeah, so that says 100%. That becomes fit. okay so that does help support it good to know real good to know kind of thinking i should have maybe uh done some supports i'm lucky that I didn't cave in on top of my head so we want to keep it narrow lesson learned because that is 100 percent unstable <laughs> nice uh, regret to inform you, Mrs. Kerbo, that uh, Kerbo died being dumb. Okay, let's throw that back in there. Don't quite have four stacks, but pretty close to it. And then, oh, they were killing chickens out here, huh? I mean, the meat's there, we might as well take it. Oh, I hear wolfies. All right, let's run for it.
Need to, oh, I need to get across the river at some point. There's actually two rivers here that are almost connected. I wonder if it would freak out if I connected those two. It's like a lake that's almost connected to the river. I'm just full dead sprint for home. And I do want to cross over. I'm sure the best place to cross over is to go to. There's a whole bunch of rabbits down here too. This would probably be a good place to set up some snares. Uh, let's throw that up in there. Put bow out. Wouldn't hurt to snag another goat or some more pelts and whatnot. Any uphill is going to be a little tricky. And he'll probably just fall in the river. These things fell off, and I hear a rift. Oh, I need to get that mod that makes grass not interfere with the butchering stuff. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't care too much about the bush meat, but I guess I'll take it. I've got a bunch of bone. I probably should be collecting that. I'd be collecting that. I've already got a lot of bone. Okay. Guess we're going to cross the river now and go home before I fool around and get killed. Oi. Oh, I missed my jump. <laughs> okay, that took half my health. I didn't hit the uh, deep water. Smacked right into the shallow end. That'll teach me. Ooh. Mature rye, huh? I do. That blends in very well with the grass. Shoot up in there. I am full, full up. I could edit this part out, but I mean, it's it's part of the uh, journey, right? It's part of the adventure. You never know what's going to happen in Vintage Story. So, unless you've tuned out by now, you're just going to have to watch me run home. And you get across the river. Ooh, Pete. Jump in about here. Let's see if we can make it across. Yep, just barely. And we're almost done. So I know there's other boats. Uh, you have to have more stuff to build those. Uh, there's a like a bigger sailboat, and there's a cargo boat that has a bunch of storage. I think the regular sailboat maybe has 12 slots. And I would imagine they're faster, so maybe they could fight the current. I don't know. Just me, or is the lighting really weird today? It's because it's frosty. Oh, it's frosty. That's why. A little below zero. How we doing? Getting uh, getting a little cold. And I was running around the water like a fool. That's okay. We'll get warmed up. And I need to get uh, some food in my belly too. So put you on the table. Get our food. I do have a backpack. I could have put stuff in as well. And then let's get the fire going. That'll get us warmed up, dried out, and we can cook some food. Don't have enough for the cooking pot. Uh, let's just throw this on for now. I think I think I can make bush meat jerky, but. 
We'll cook it up. I have exp been experimenting with the oven. I made like some chicken nuggets. Uh, apparently I forgot to get that bread out of here. Oops. It's charred, which I think just affects the food value. So it's not, not a biggie. We've got uh, a lot of food. Uh, so rabbits. Okay, so that one is skinned. I think I right click. No, I take an empty slot. There we go. And then put it on the table. And then right click. It says 100% drops. So, where's my fat? <laughs> Bloody off, off owl. Okay. I suppose we can probably use that for sausage or something, maybe? I don't. I don't know. Go ahead and grab the bone. Get a bone from it. Uh, you are full up. Pretty much everything. So, we're going to start sticking extra, extra stuff in here. Uh, do do do. The ladder's the grass. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why it's not transferring. Then we gotta get organized so our seeds go up there. And our stony type stuff goes in here, but we don't really have that much room. Put a couple stacks in there. Then I'm gonna fill the rest over here. So let me take a let me take the little stack. We'll put that in the 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 quern quern. I'm not sure how you say that. That'll get ground into lime at some point. Uh, am I? Yeah, I'm warm back up. We're good. I burnt the crap out of that bush meat because I was not watching it. But I don't think there's any ill effect. It's just you get less satiation from it. I think that's fine. Uh, let's hang our bow back up and we'll put the arrows in there. Need to make some more of those. I burned up quite a few hunting rabbits. Uh, the boat, I'm going to put that back in here for now. We need to do some research. Uh, if I hit H on that. Uh, do, uh, ingredients for clean. Okay. We wash that with a bucket or something? Let's get the rest of the rabbits, though. So these are good, so we can grab those. I'm gonna take those upstairs and butcher them, and I can get the next two on the hooks and skinned. It didn't take two hours for a rabbit to drink. I've dressed plenty of rabbits. They're like the easiest thing in the world to dress and skin. Tiny little rabbit wouldn't take two hours for the blood to drain out, but whatever. It's, uh, it's the way the game is. Yep, two hours. Where's I putting the skins? In there. Uh, doink. All right, we're getting our pelts up. Uh, we need some fat, though, to be able to process those into uh, the pelts that we can use to craft things out of. All right, one dead hair coming up. You in there. I do like this butchering mod. It just adds a lot more you know, realistic steps to it, even if some of the timing and whatnot is off. And it says 100% drops, but I guess it's 100% of the uh, of the possible drop, I think is what it actually means. We're definitely not getting everything off of it. And we got some more of that. And I can also hang another rabbit there. So I probably should have brought one of those up. Yeah, I've just got the two left. So we'll, we'll do the... Uh, these give 100%. Versus 80 on the Prentice skinning. So we're getting more pelts. However, I don't have very much fat. I have two fat. I need some fat. It's been hard to come by. And burnt the crap out of that as well. We might as well just keep burning the crap out of stuff. I've got a bunch of jerky made up that's going to last forever. So I think we'll just, we'll just have this to eat.
Some more chert rock. Got a little clay while I was out. What else we got going on? I shot a whole bunch of drifters right before I went on my little adventure. I uh, got absolutely no loot out of maybe 10 drifters. Just nothing, not even a flax. So I am killing drifters. Uh, it's not terribly exciting, so I haven't shown a whole lot of it. But... Okay, so we got our food supply. Good for the, oh man, you gotta pull that off right away, don't you? Kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna be hunting for some fat because it looks like we're not getting fat off the rabbits, which is fine. Rabbits are lean anyway. I'm gonna have to do some more deer and or goat or maybe even moose hunting uh, to get these hides processed because it takes a lot of a lot of pelts to make the clothes that I need. Oh man, I got shards still. Bummer. All right, we'll leave that on there. Let's do a little bit of experimenting here. So can I combine those to get clean? No. Um, so as I hang those on the hooks to drain? No. Butchering. Do 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 do. Okay, we did all that. Sinew awful and turn it or be used for food after cleaning it. Oh, cleaning it in a barrel. So you got to clean it off in a barrel. All right. Fair enough. Well, we have a barrel here uh, with some lime in it, which hasn't been turned into lime water. So maybe we'll clean off this stuff. not <laughs> so I'll, I'll see how that works all right well i got some waiting to do waiting for those guys to drain uh oh no they're drained all right we're good time goes fairly fast in the game so grab those guys nope, this one nope that's not what i want to do put you here put you on the hook you want to hook and then we'll just wrap up the video here a little bit of an adventure we're cruising on towards winter uh food wise i think we're gonna be fine uh it's just crunch time now to get some warm clothes made and i got no skin off those at all craziness i guess you don't get a pelt every time when you uh do the normal thing what am i doing you go down here. Yeah, we'll see what we get off this guy. Meat and whatnot. Now, can I put this on the table? No, I do have to get rid of that. Makes sense. Doesn't hurt to experiment, though. We go got some more meat um wonder does it have to be an exact mix maybe mm, more charred meat it's my favorite fresh for five days we'll just let that hang out there for a bit um i can toss the water right is it control crap that's not what I wanted. No, I made a source block. Go away. I want to just empty the bucket. How do I just empty the bucket? The control shift? Shift is just place, right? Huh. I thought there was a way to just empty it. Uh, I could, I can move these. They're ready. They're ready to go in the strong tannin. So that'll seal those up. Well, I'll play around with that, uh, the water in the barrel with the uh, bloody 
It's not called awful. Is it a foul? I forget how you pronounce that word. But anywho. Time marches on. And it's coming on in winter. But I think we're well prepared. we we'll get some warm clothes. we got lots of food. I think we're going to be okay. And maybe we'll do some exploring and or building over the winter. We shall see. Thanks as always for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Hey, the, the video's over. Goodbye.